Greetings everyone, I'm Tevict from Quixotic Syndicate and today I'll teach you a bit about steganography or rather I'll teach you how to hide an image inside another image using Photoshop which is one type of steganography uh, like I did in this article uh, where I for the images in this article where I taught you how to reveal an image inside an, uh, that's hidden in another image in a hypothetical scenario involving episode 13 of Robotics Notes link to it in the description here I have uh, the picture we want to hide and the picture to be hidden. So let's suppose we have this picture here of an abandoned room that we took. A picture of this abandoned room. And here let's say we got this picture easily off of the internet somewhere with some famous guy. or some main guy but it's an easily accessible image in the internet let's suppose. Uh, the first step, let's just right, jump right into it, is to go to image mode and set it to indexed color now uh, what we want to do is go to this what I'm gonna show you right now works pretty much only for monochromatic pictures but I will teach you how to do it for more colorful pictures really colorful pictures in the uh, near the end of the video so just stick around uh, so I'll teach you both ways so let's go to local perceptual uh, set the colors to 8, we want to reduce the number of colors to 8 colors so it's easier to hide and uh, forced none, make sure it's none, not black and white not really that important actually but for this example diffusion 100% okay so now we have this image in index mode with only 8 colors Ta-da! so what we want to do is Go to image mode color table and double click the first color. And what I did for the article is I divided each color by 10, rounding it as I saw fit. So 47 would become 5, 21 would become 2, so on and so forth. Uh, so that it becomes, it's still sort of the same shade, more or less, but it's a much darker version of it so I, th I did that for all, for all these I'm going to do all that for all these however uh, doing this will create an image that's uh, just like figure C in my article which in figure C you can tell there's something hidden here if you want to make it so it's comp most uh, hidden p as possible you probably want to divide it by 20 instead of 10 so I'll go ahead and do that and I'll get back to you when it's I'm done with all of them. Uh, so see you in a second. Okay, so once you're done doing that, you have all of them looking black. Uh, here I divided them by tw 10, so you can sort of see there's something hidden here. This part is clearly lighter, but if you divide it by 20, it's really, really hard to notice. And it looks almost completely black. So you press OK. And here's already... Uh, almost halfway there. Now we say go to image mode. We go back to RGB color, and go. To, you copy it all, and we want to paste it here. But just so we don't lose this image because I don't have it open anywhere else. Let's go to open. Let's just make a new file and copy this here. So we're going to hide this image. This is. By the way, this used to be figure uh, nothing, but this used to be figure B. Th no, this is figure B in my article, and so is this so far. But we're going to turn this into figure A by copying this, pasting it on top, and this is much like the process to reverse it. What we do is we go to layer two, we set the layer mode to difference, and ta-da, it disappears. We can go to layer flatten and this is it this is the image with another image hidden inside it you can go ahead you can go to file you can save as and make sure you save as PNG or another lossless uh, for, uh, image format do not save as JPEG because that will make you you lose your the hidden image uh, do not upload sites like Facebook or uh, image you are which compress your image so you'll also lose the hidden image uh, you'll have to upload it to sites that don't compress it like minus.com 
uh, what else? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, now to reveal the image, we just get the original image that doesn't have anything hidden in it. Paste it on top of this, just like I showed in my just a quick version of my of my my article. You set it to difference, and ta-da! And you can just go to uh, you can flatten image, go to adjustments, levels, white water drop. Click here. Black one. Ta-da! And you can tell there's a B here and everything. So this is how to do it for a monochromatic picture. Now I'm going to show you how to do it for a uh, more colorful pictures. So here I have a picture ready. Let's just copy this image. Go back to Photoshop. Make a new file. New. Uh, set it to. Yeah, that's fine. Da -na -na. Let's delete this background. We just go here again. Image mode. Indexed color. Now instead of going to using the palette local perceptual, we're going to use a custom palette. And we're going to change this custom palette so that it's uh it has colors all of the same uh shade, like all of them are the same brightness, but they're all different colors. So for example, this first one will be two five five on red, zero on green, zero on blue. We have a full red color and we will do the same but it's time for green full green color and you can also use it using the hex code it's really zero zero it will be zero 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 ff gives us a full a uh, blue and nothing so uh they're divided by blue green no sorry red blue red green blue red green blue yeah so blue Next, we go here two five five two five five zero yellow, and we'll do that for all of them until we have uh, yellow cyan, which is green and blue zero wait, two five five zero two five five. We have pink here, and okay, so red, green, blue, yellow, cyan, magenta is the correct term. Sorry. If I offended anybody, same pink. Uh, and this one would be zero, 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 a full black. And this one would be to, to all of them, two, five, five, making it full white. And you can tell once you're done, which you have a color, a picture that looks about the same, except uh, it's just a little more grainy. And if you zoom in, it's because it's just a bunch of these pixels doing something similar to how your TV works to form colors uh, that would uh, make when it's zoomed out a picture that looks to have the same colors as it be before uh, so to hide this and it hides way more effectively you go to mode do the same thing go to mode color table but instead you can just uh, switch this for say 2 and do that for all of them and what you'll end up is with is uh, a picture that looks to be completely black it will be uh, really difficult to tell nearly impossible you can't tell there's something hidden there like the other one uh, it's all the same shade so uh, they're all slightly different in color but overall uh, same shade so you can't tell it's different kinds of black because it, See, this one's still red, but it's just a really, really dark red. But they're all the same shade, so you can't tell the difference. Human eye can't do it. Press OK, and you can go ahead, hide it in an, any image you want, and do the same thing to get it back. And once you get this, to reveal it, it's much easier. You just go to Image, uh, Auto Contrast, and bam, here it is back. So, there you go. That is how to hi, uh, hide a colorful image. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, um, if you're looking forward to more Photoshop tutorials, you should probably not subscribe because I don't think I'll be doing them often. But uh, if you like anime and that kind of stuff, uh, feel free to.
If you have any doubts, feel free to leave them in the comments or any suggestions for improvements. Uh, and lastly, if you want to watch some more of my other videos where I play video games or vlog, you can go to my channel. There's a link in the description. Uh, YouTube.com slash to evict. So, yeah. Hope this helped you. Goodbye.